chairman of Sokoto State Ulama Forum of Izala, Sheikh Abubakar Mabira, has said any lawyer who defends the Kano State singer Yaya Aminu Sharif, recently convicted for blasphemy by a Sharia court, has renounced his Islamic faith. Because that an upper Sharia court sitting in the state had convicted Mr. Aminu Sharif of blasphemy and sentenced him to death by hanging. The governor of Kano State, Abdullahi Ganduje, had exposed, has expressed his readiness to sign the death warrant issued against Mr. Aminu Sharif once it is presented to him. Speaking with Nigeria Tribune in Sokoto at the weekend, the Islamic cleric reaffirmed that blasphemy is in Islam attracts capital punishment, saying as a Muslim, the law applies to the singer. The cleric, who is also the chief imam of Malam Buhari Dan Shewu Mosque in Sokoto, therefore called on Muslim lawyer, lawyers to be careful in defending the convicts. According to him, since a competent Sharia court in Kano has established the fact that Sharif has insulted the Holy Prophet Muhammad, there is no way other than for him to subject himself to the punishment prescribed by Allah. The Islamic cleric then called on the people to go back to their creator and seek for his forgiveness, saying, All these calamities bedeviling the country are signs of our wrongdoings. From all indications, God is not happy with us and we have to repent because he alone is the answer to our vo to our woes he declared hmm. so what these people are trying to tell us now is that uh, there's nothing like forgiveness in their dictionary if at all and so any muslim now who is a lawyer cannot defend anybody so does it mean this is the highest is the highest sin in the land or in the Sharia, whatever. Of course, a lot of them will come out and tell you, oh, don't say anything. This is none of your business, this and that. So there's nothing like forgiveness, really. So then why is it not, since he's saying, oh, Allah will do this, Allah will do that. Why can't you allow Allah do what he has to do? Did Allah say you should do that, that you should fight for him, or you should, you know, put judgment or pass judgment on whoever that offends him, the Allah? Mm, this is really terrible. And to sum it up, so those Muslims now, they will have to select and choose the kind of a, of uh, of case they are going to be defending, which I don't really understand. Okay, if you are saying, uh, the, that means the person has denounced, uh, he said, whatever. You are not the one that will decide for the person. Well, maybe that's how they do in their religion because you are not the one to, to decide that you have renounced your faith or in as much the person is not going to be punished for that. I don't say, I don't know whether it's an offense to if you if they do that if the person or if the lawyer the Muslim lawyers lawyer goes and defend such a person that they feel that they have pronounced judgments. So anybody who the judgment has been pronounced upon should face it. Well, it is well low. <laughs> All I can say is that it is well. It is welly welly well. -y, well -y, well, let's hear what people are saying because to me, this is whole thing is surprising. It's like I've never heard this kind of a thing happening, and it's happening before our very eyes in the 21st century. Oh my god! Okay, in the Old Testament, no man was stoned for blaspheming any prophet, the Israelites only stoned those who blasphemed God. But Christ came to abolish this old tradition. It's Muhammad God that one has to die by hanging for blaspheming him. He was just like other great people that had lived on earth. My, okay, you are not serious. What do you want to know about Sharia? This is not church matter. You better keep your mouth shut. Like, seriously? <laughs> this person eh, is, is questionable. Let God fight for himself. Can You can be overzealous for Almighty. Or you can be, or do you want to be overzealous? Certainly, God can't be happy with you, with you so-called imam. For promoting bloodshed, supporting wrong uh, person, Buhari, is uh, whatever, whatever, you know. Of course, you know that a lot of people will not be happy with this kind of a statement. If you say someone insulted God, like some of you have been insulting mm -hmm. Holy Jesus, but no pastor or Christian court has sentenced, any of, has sentenced anyone on that, because you can say that Almighty God is not big enough to fight for himself you are 
a human being saying you want to defend God, that is a greatest insult to Almighty God. Well, that is what they believe in. Everybody is entitled to. Everybody is entitled to. To the what they want to believe. I think that's just it. Well, how I wish God would just come down and settle this matter. <laughs> okay, it's not. Uh, Islam is not to save humanity, but to destroy humanity. Oh, destructive, murderous, and so on and so forth. You are fighting for a prophet physically. Stop. Uh, Stop that and follow Jesus Christ because Jesus uh, is, you know, fights his battle spiritually. Okay, we fight his battle spiritually. They are secret courts because you cannot kill somebody for God. Yes, free from bondage or violence. No Muslim lawyer will defend, defend, okay, no. Muslim lawyer will defend only Christian lawyers who are ignorant of the teachings and laws of Islam are trying to defend him due to their selfish interest okay okay no muslim lawyer will defend defend only the christian lawyers i don't know what this person is trying to say here what kind of teaching is that uh i totally agree with the man must the man must be punished but let me ask those that will do the stoning would they not have committed murder would they need a special permit to be able to stone someone to death just thinking aloud I will keep repeating it that until the world rise up and ban Islam and make a, a sure they don't exist anymore, as someone and some countries have already done. Okay, some countries have done that. The world is not safe. Today is either they are doing this or taking other people's life. You know, today anywhere in the world you hear these people, they are Muslims. Go and check from inception the religion preaches and teaches jihad. They tell their converts and followers that anybody who is not a Muslim is not is an infidel and therefore shouldn't live. They hypocritically allude that Islam is a religion of peace, but that is a big lie. My own is that does it mean there's no forgiveness if at all? There is no forgiveness at all. Why is it that these Muslims fundamentalists choose to fight for their God in person of Prophet Muhammad? Can't they allow God to fight for himself or are they more powerful than their own God? Hmm. Well, look at their mentality. So if he is condemned to death, no one can at least stand to defend him to an extent. They will just allow him to die on in your brutal nature of judgment. Hmm. Now, wow, this is a serious matter. If you are, if you have to, if we are, if we are to ask for forgiveness from God and expecting his forgiveness, then the man should be forgiven. This is what the poor must face. God Almighty will definitely not abandon it soon. The boy shouldn't go unpunished. What was he thinking? Guess he was on drug or something. Hmm. So guys, let us hear your opinion. This is really, it's, it's really touching. Really, really touching. Leave your comments and let us know what you think.